Good morning, everybody. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson with 13 News Now. Here is your 11 a.m. update for the tropics on September 23rd. We're still tracking Ophelia. It made landfall in North Carolina this morning, continuing to bring rain to parts of Hampton Roads and northeast North Carolina. We're seeing some light rain around parts of the eastern shore into the peninsulas. On the south side, we're actually staying drier. We're seeing some drier air filtering in for us and parts of northeast North Carolina with that center still spinning in North Carolina. Now for us, because of the spinning motion of this system, we are underneath a level one out of five risk for severe weather. That is because we could see the chance for an isolated spin up tornado or two. We had a couple of tornado warnings earlier this morning, and if we see any tornadoes, they should remain on the weaker side. Of course, we are a flood prone area as well, so flash flooding very possible as we head into the rest of the day, but definitely more likely around the I-95 corridor. That's because that's where we'll see the center of Ophelia roll through. The 11 a.m. track shows that Ophelia will continue to weaken over land fairly quickly and move out to sea near parts of New Jersey over the next couple of days. Now, tropical storm warnings are still in effect for the eastern shore, Hampton Roads, all the way down into parts of the Outer Banks, and that's because of tropical storm force wind gusts. We are still seeing that at the Outer Banks. We're seeing some wind gusts up to 51 miles an hour, surf height up to 16 feet. So here's what you need to know for the rest of the day. We will have the opportunity for scattered showers, but definitely more drier air filtering in by 3 or 4 p.m. High temperatures today in the mid to upper 70s. Cloud cover will continue. We may see some isolated showers overnight into Sunday morning, but the bulk of the rain will stay north and west of our area and Sunday actually shaping up to be a pretty nice day. We'll see some sunshine and we'll see temperatures in the morning in the middle 60s. What we are concerned about again, plus flash flooding, plus a chance for some tidal flooding. Thankfully, going from moderate stage this morning to minor stage at Sewell's Point this afternoon, though, we could see major flood stage at Yorktown. So be super careful if you see any flooded roadways. Definitely turn around, don't drown as you head through parts of your commute. Wave heights will also start to go down over the next few hours as Ophelia continues to lift north. So even by 8 p.m., we're talking wave heights, maybe isolated 12 feet, but really closer to the 8 to 10 feet range, definitely dying down by Sunday. High rip current risk still in effect for us. This is for today and tomorrow from Virginia Beach all the way down into the Outer Banks. If you head to the beach, be super careful in those waters. We also are tracking one of our newest storms. This is Tropical Depression 17. It formed west of the Cape Verde Islands, forecast to become Tropical Storm Philippe as we head into the next day or two. Thankfully, it looks like Philippe will stay a fish storm. For more on the tropics, head to 13newsnow.com. For 13 News Now, I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson.